It's Monday, April 20th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. Police stations are providing foreigners refuge from xenophobic attacks in South Africa. Refugees in Veulam have set up tents behind one of the local police stations after they were forced from their homes due to the unrest. Many are from Zimbabwe, and the country's ambassador was present to help migrants return back to their country. Eight foreigners have been killed, and more than 1,000 have been displaced since the attacks began in late March. Central American migrants marched through Mexico City over the weekend, protesting abuse they say they suffer when making their way to the United States. The demonstration comes in response to a Mexican government program aimed at beefing up its southern borders against the influx of migrants from neighboring countries. Protesters call it migrant extermination and a non-declared war. Officials say the southern border program has dramatically lowered the number of child migrants and families cutting through Mexico to reach the U.S. A group of American Vietnam veterans and anti-war activists came together to visit a home for Agent Orange victims in Hanoi over the weekend. The center houses more than 100 children and 40 Vietnamese veterans who suffer from illnesses linked to the toxic herbicide used by American troops during the war. I was a Marine. Now we have Marines and anti-war people working together to help these children. Agent Orange was used against the North Vietnamese Army to uncover their jungle trails and hideouts. More than four million Vietnamese have been exposed to the chemicals over several generations. Monday marks the fifth anniversary of the Deepwater Horizon oil rig explosion in 2010. Eleven workers were killed and more than 200 million gallons of sticky crude oil spewed into the waters off Louisiana's coast for almost three months. According to a recent report by the National Wildlife Federation, dolphins are dying at four times the normal rate. Oil can still be found as far away as the Florida Panhandle and Tampa Bay. Settlements and cleanup payments have cost BP more than $42 billion over the past five years. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. The Bahraini authorities, during the Formula One, they want to portray a country that is at peace with itself, which is not the case if you look at the human rights violations taking place in the country. You can see that Bahrain is still continuing to live through a human rights crisis.